Let me tease my hair, tease my hair. Yes, y'all. This is what the pixie would do for you, your life, you know. So, <laughs> so y'all, um, welcome back. Um, yeah, all in the in the camera and stuff. So yeah, so I uh yeah, this is a all the products that you will probably need doing your quarantine if you have a pixie cut in your hair so if you're interested stay tuned okay so um yeah y'all i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven maybe twelve no maybe thirteen i have no so yeah so i'm just gonna give you you guys i'm trying to end just give y'all of what you will need to maintain your hair actually damn 14 <laughs> at the point like a, it's gonna be at least about 14 to 15 products that you're gonna need to maintain your short um pixie cut at home and i'm gonna be honest with you too for me you guys maintaining my hair um is is actually easier with short hair and um just let y'all know i am relaxed um I try not to relax my hair as much as um, I used to when I had um, longer hair. Um, so basically, <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm gonna end then at the end, I definitely wanna give you guys tips on um, how to maintain your hair. I mean, tips. <laughs> okay, I will give y'all tips on my tips on how to pretty much on different things you can do to keep your hair moisturized and keep your hair looking, you know, you know, pretty styled and everything. All right, you guys, you've probably seen me talk about these two products. So I'm gonna start off with them. Actually, I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all off the products that you guys seen in my previous videos, if you've seen it, cause I'm, some of y'all probably looked at my videos. So anyway, um, I used the, the Gold Series um, Moisture Boost Conditioner Infused with Argan Oil from Pantene. And I also use this Miracle Moisture Boost with Rose Water by Pantene as well. So, um, they both smell like a dream and I love them. They make my hair so soft and supple and I love them. Yes, I love them. Okay, get yeah, ready and then this. <laughs> Oh my God, this is, I, I love this. This oil is the ish, okay? This is the Curls Blueberry and Mint Tea with um, hair growth and scalp treatment oil. <sighs> Let me tell y'all, it's very tingly and it's very, and it smells to me, it smells very good. So it's kind of like, it gives you, it's, of course it's minty, but it gives you the feeling of um, elliptical, um, type feel it went in the hair it's just amazing it's an amazing product um and i'm loving this so you guys should try it and i'm gonna let you know you guys this stuff actually works because uh, i had a little situation right after i got my first cut and at the end of the video i'll show you guys the cuts that i had i was like june 30th and um november 6th so well, I got this done November 6th, even though it's growing back in, but yeah. So there you go. Okay, so everybody should know about the wrap lotion, y'all. The mousse, the wrap lotion, the mousse. <laughs> well, they call it mousse, whatever. But I usually use, I use the um, Cream of Nature one as well. The Cream of Nature um, Argan Oil. Uh, wrapping lotion but today uh, right now I have this motions um, versatile foam styling lotion styling create um, I actually love it you know it, it does the job I you know I'm a believer I've been using this this wrapping lotion for years so ever since I was young so we're well, younger anyway so pretty good y'all know y'all pretty much know what this is okay now Two products that, yeah, like I said, a lot of these things you've probably seen before in my hauls. Um, but um, I use this. This is basically gone. I have to re-up this. I'm actually going to get the um, hair perfecter, but 
This is the Olaplex number five bond maintenance conditioner. This is this has helped. Shoot, when I put this in my hair, my hair is so much thicker and so much life, so much. And then, but I use this this the bond smoother, and this is a leave-in reparative styling cream. This, yeah, I'm telling y'all. So um, definitely, y'all need to check this baby out. Check her out. Okay, so the next product I'm going to you, I just discovered this because I found this in my cabinet, but I actually like it. This I this, this Tresemme um, All Day Hold. Now this um this product really doesn't give me any problems with the flaking and stuff. So um I like it. I think it's I think it really just holds for one day. So if you just like. If your your hair, especially in the back, if your curls are not, you know, or your hair, you want to hold your hair back um, after it's like fluff or just flying away, little flyaways or whatever. This is actually a wonderful product in me because it don't flake my hair up and um, or show that white residue. I like it. I like it. The Tresemme um, Extra Firm Hold Hair Gel. Yeah, pretty good. Now, for when I'm styling my hair, yeah, I use that from day to day, the trust me from day to day, but this is what I use all the time. And everybody that got a pixie cut, gonna tell you this is what they use, the Eco Styler. Yes. And it's for all hair types. And this is the one with the olive oil, I think. I'm not. But they got one with the with the i think argan oil i don't really like that one so i'll just stick with this and this is if you you go to any beauty supply store you can get i think these even carry in walmart definitely invest in this if you have a pixie cut i'm just saying and if you don't know nothing about it i'm pretty sure most of y'all know about it but if you don't get you some okay <laughs> okay so all right and let's see um, before I go on to the styling tools, um, these, um, the last products I'm going to show y'all, that's kind of like something that y'all probably they will. Yeah. Actually, I'll show y'all that next. But, okay, so the next one is this Icy Fantasia ooh, Hair Polisher Heat Protective Straightening Serum. I've been using this. I usually try to rub this in like at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes before I go ahead and start curling my hair because um because of course it's oily and you don't want to you know kind of damage your hair by just immediately going in with this but I like like rub it in and then um yeah you want to give a give it generous don't put too much product in your hair guys because you're gonna look like a fool and with a jerry curl situation let your soul it was okay <laughs> let your soul shot through god day oh it was like yeah so yeah the heat protectant um i paid this five dollars local beauty supply you can find us at the local beauty supply i'm pretty sure y'all got them in your hood though all right um okay this is something you're gonna also find in a beauty supply i recommend a lot of people recommend a rat tail comb you can i recommend to get both Get a rat tail comb because I got one, but I don't have it with me. And this. This is like a, uh, it has a a magnetic thing inside right here. And it kind of just like, it gives you some control. And it kind of just kind of detangles your hair very well. So I forget how much I paid. I think I paid like four to, four to five dollars for this. It was, it was kind of cheap. Local beauty supply, pretty much. Okay. Now on to the hair care tools. Okay, you guys. Um, pretty much you're gonna need this little think dot think dot think dot think dot think dot. I don't know what the hell that was in, but you uh this pretty much this little situation right here, which is a flexi rod. These are really good for maintaining your hair and not having to put heat on your hair every single day. So you definitely want to invest in these. I, um, this is, of course, it's the bigger one. I forget the inches on this, but these are bomb. All flexi rods. You should have all kinds of flexi rods. 
in your collection because you're going to need them. Especially, and if you got the real smaller ones, you can do a lot of little small um, curls and um, styles with that. That'd be cool. But um, but if you have, you just want to, you know, like your hair, just want to pretty much wrap your hair at night, kind of, and without not necessarily wrapping it, this is good. Also, you guys, I don't have them with me, but you're going to definitely need some, um, some hairpins. Get some hairpins because uh, along with this, you're going to need them. And I'm going to tell you why at the end of the video. Okay, so best and a good and a good. I got this from Ulta. I actually like it. You know, a lot of people get the hot tools one. But I just got this. This is called the, the Bedhead um, T, TG. I don't know what the hell. But I bought this from Ulta because I needed something quick. And it's actually been doing me some good. I actually enjoyed this um this flat iron this um for for pixie cuts. Because it's like, it's really, I not only do I like the color. You can see it's fading though. But, <laughs> but I do like um, how hot it gets. And I do like how it curls my hair. But like I said... Um, if you can get that hot tools or ceramic one, there's a lot of good ones on the market. You would have to do your research. I'm actually going to invest in another one very, very soon. So, um, just to let you know, this is pretty good. Definitely, especially if you were putting your, um, up to 400, I mean, 450, um, degrees of heat on your hair. You definitely, um, you this can do the trick, but you definitely want to invest in this and this. <laughs> so yeah, but um, but yeah, that. If you guys don't know, when you get your um, pixie cut done, um, most uh, the beautician should have should do a mold on your hair, and they usually do. So um, so when you're doing a mold at home, and it's recommended that you do a mold, get y'all one of these. These universal soft bonnets. These, um, this is an attachment. I only paid ten dollars for this, but this is relatively cheap. It does the trick. It's just like being under a hair dryer. The the higher you put it up, the, what's the name on? You going? But I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna quickly just like glance. Okay, changing. Okay, cause it's dirty. So <laughs> that's the reason why. But um, well, if I can cover up. But this is pretty much the hair dryer that I use to attach to that. I have another hair dryer. And I'll show that in a different video because I plan to do a, uh, let y'all uh, see y'all, let y'all see how I style my pixie cut from time to time. But yeah, so, um, definitely, um, invest in, so definitely invest in that, um, that a hair dryer with the long, um, nose and then the universal soft bonnet hair drying attachment. Last but definitely not least, um, before I get to my little few tips, you guys going to need some bomb vitamins. Vitamins. These are the two I got. The only reason why I bought the Centrum, because I mean I like the Centrum, don't get me wrong. The only reason, but the only reason why I bought the Centrum is because I couldn't find this. But I ended up going back to Target and I found this and they won't sell. So go figure. But um, I use these because these are for women and um, and of course if you guys want the kosher ones um, prenatal koshers or whatever they actually do a wonderful job I'm not saying prenatal I take pre I don't take them just because I want to get pregnant or anything but I'm just saying like or I have a baby but I only I take them because they're really good for your hair um, prenatal vitamins has really good nutrients but I take this for right now but I take these more because I've seen what this has really, truly done for my hair. But both of these are actually good. Try them. I highly recommend. I just take these because they really, really, really did some good for my hair. They did, but yeah. So anyway, yep. That's the Alt Oli, the perfect woman's vitamin. And it's a powerful blend of vitamins, A, C, D, E, Bs, biotin, and folic acid. And then you got the Centrum, Multi Gummies, Energy, Immunity, Metabolism, a Healthy Appearance. And they pretty much they pretty much have the same elements or the same components. So yep. Definitely gonna need them. Okay. 
All right. So, okay, let's get into the tips that I I highly recommend. Okay, you guys. So when you are conditioning your hair, conditioning your hair, I highly recommend you to drop some oil into your hair. Drop some oil into your hair and put the um put it in the microwave. You can do a stove top too, but it's easier if you just put it in a microwave for about a good uh eight to ten seconds. Um, that way, so you can kind of see, so you can kind of like get everything hot and melt it in and then rub that into your scalp. Penetrate, make sure you put oil on it and make sure it penetrates into the, the conditioner and rub it into your scalp when you're conditioning your hair. That will penetrate your roots, your, your hair shaft and all that. Your, you know, it'll penetrate your scalp and it'll be, and then it will really help you maintain a softer haircut you know maintain softer hair when you're you know if you decide to put heat on it or you just try to style it for whatever reason or however you want to style it so that's just my tip uh that's the first tip okay okay um and the second tip when you are you guys having this and like i said when i said earlier have hairpins because you want, you either going to want to use this or you are going to want to pin curl it. Pin curls are really good in maintaining your hair for the next day. All beauti Most beauticians going to tell you, put pin curls in your hair. Because the curls, they'll last longer. Especially if they're longer, even longer, much longer than this. But if you put pin curls in your hair, they, you will maintain your style for a much longer time. Then you would just not, you just, just kind of trying to wrap it. Cause it's not gonna work. I'm telling y'all right now, cause you're gonna be using this more than you want, and that's gonna lead to heat damage. So definitely get some of these if you can handle having these in your hair all night. Do it, or if you can stay home all day and let this curl your hair, use this and then pin curl your hair at night, or maybe you won't leave them in all night. It's up to you. Okay, and my last tip would be. Um, yeah, you, um, these, when you using, when you're doing your hair in the back of your hair, if you having a lot of flyaways, get a rat tail comb and get this, these gel, a gel like this, a light gel, like this Tresemme and just comb it down and kind of, if you got a mirror, you can kind of just like go in the back and style it. And then you can probably like put like some more waves or something like that <laughs> But you probably want to invest in something like this, like this um, magnetic comb, or um, if you got a rat tail comb, that'd work. But with this, it'll work too. So that's just my tips. You know, that's just my tips. And uh, yeah. So you guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for um, thank you for everything. And I appreciate y'all. Stay tuned. I'm gonna definitely. I'm going to totally do a video where I'm going to show y'all how to style my pixie cut. It's going to be crazy because I've never done anything like that before. But I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Um, it's not looking at its best right now because I just wanted to do this video and I want to show y'all. Plus, I just got home from work. So, um, definitely look out for that. And um, so, yeah. And um, we're in the holidays, you guys. Um, and I hope you guys, um, are a good out there as far as like, um, doing this pandemic. So yeah. Anyway, so I will see you guys in the next video. Um, like I said, please like, and subscribe. I appreciate it. I will definitely and totally appreciate it. Love y'all, man. See y'all. Hey guys, I forgot to mention these in the video. I did not take these out of the bathroom. <laughs> So I just want to let you know, um, these strips are needed for when you're doing your mold. These, how they look, they stretch, they are stretchy um, paper material. I do not know what these are made of really, but they, they come in black and they come in white. Oh, I have seen some white ones, but these usually they're um, wrapping strips 
after you do when you're doing your mold when you molding your after you mold your hair you want to take at least like i usually use like three of about three of them but you take these um and wrap them around your head and you can use a scarf if you want to but i highly recommend these and these don't, don't cost no more than about two dollars i mean two to five dollars depending on how big the pack is from the local beauty supply store so yeah so definitely invest in these you're going to need this for your pixie cut i promise you you won't regret it